Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. It's going to be for your next 48 hours. Hope you're doing really good. Thanks so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, let's see what we've got for you, Pisces. Care required. Guard yourself against deception. Be careful of making a foolish mistake at this time. Care required. When I first started to do your reading, um, it was like about a friend who needed your help. Um, and now this says declutter, declutter your life, let go of correspondence, objects and people that you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you wish to, you might wish to wish to avoid the property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay. All right. Let's see what all this is about. More Pisces. Next 48 hours. More Pisces. High Priestess, your energy coming through. That's a strong sign to trust your intuition. Pisces, what's the issue? Okay, this is actually kind of good. The Nine of Swords, you, you want it to be in reverse because in the reverse, it means that it's like there was a candle that showed you the way of how to break free from worrying about the need to have um, a solution or something to have a certain outcome. So it's breaking free from worry, maybe getting better sleep. I see. He's maybe getting better sleep. Yeah, I'm really feeling that. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. It, your message might be similar to Scorpio's in that there was just like one element, like their own passion was what was missing to make something complete. And I feel like maybe that's the challenge here to feeling like abundant and prosperous. You need maybe clarity or truth. Um, maybe something had been hidden or not shown all of the information and so therefore feels kind of hidden or like something was kept from you um i don't think it i'm not sure if it was but i don't think it was okay well there's your information <laughs> past energy has you doing the gathering for more information doing your research um hearing from many different perspectives but i feel like being able to discern here this is a very youthful, um, kind of like go get it energy. Um, a lot of in your head right now for you, Pisces. Definitely a lot of in your head. Um, still searching for the truth that is the truth found inside of you. See, there's that candle. So to find the light, you're going to have to light your own way by living your own truth. And finding your own truth, what really makes you happy. Um, that path is yours, only yours. Yeah, future energy, the magician. The Eight of Cups, okay, and the world in reverse. So there is um, definitely a challenge of wanting to have a completion, um, but wanting to, but maybe wanting to walk away from one situation and manifest a new. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting, like, like walking away from something or halt on the plans for travel, but really needing to get away or to retreat. There's something about your manifestation abilities, though, highlighted in this future energy. So maybe it's about going away on a retreat or wanting to go on a vacation and something kind of like blocking that at the moment. It could be. But it does manifest because you have the magician. Your energy is the queen of swords in the reverse. So, yeah, you're not feeling like super emotional. Almost like you would normally. And so we're feeling a little detached from emotions right now. And it might be just the process of finding our truth with this hermit and the ace of swords card. Um, but feeling a little detached from emotions or from something uh, that doesn't. I don't know, something that you have invested time, it looks like, with, wow, we have the good luck card coming in for, like, the hopes. 
position and the nine of wands here is in the um, environment so you may feel emotionally like detached from something but but yet still persistent still persistent going after your truth and good luck comes in for you and spins with the wheel of fortune new cycles wanting to start you're the one who you're the magician you're the director so just pay attention to what you're wanting to manifest what is the outcome looking like here probably something pretty good with this wheel of fortune yeah three of cups it says that oh look at this three of swords in reverse says you're gonna let go of any hurt or pain let go of any third party situations get back together with those that you care about or that mean a lot to you and celebrate abundance celebration and cheer three three is an extremely you are powerful creator numbers so it's a master number um yeah, you have really, really, really good cards. I'm going to go ahead and pull um, Pisces from this deck, the Mystic Martian. And we'll get something for you. Mantis beings. These are those higher dimensional beings that are very to themselves, um, like solitude, but yet around them, they may feel conflicted about something. We have the Anunnaki Five controlling drama or conflict of interest we may have just two sides that um that maybe you're wanting to be this like hey i'm out of this i'm having the higher perspective like the mantis beings <laughs> maybe let's do a dream totem too <laughs> there's your answer it's the key love before you can truly love another you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first if you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. And that's what I've got for you all. Sending you lots of love and light. Thanks so much, Pisces.